What's up, guys? Frugal BC, and today we are going to be talking about Tiny Man. Now, Tiny Man is a DEX on Algorand that you can use with super low fees and ways to make money on the side. So, we're going to talk about that all in today's Frugal BC. What's up guys, Frugal BC here, and uh, today, like I said, we're going to be talking about Tiny Man. Now, Tiny Man is a decentralized exchange that is based on the Algorand blockchain. So if you guys are familiar with exchanges, uh, they allow you to swap one token for another, a way to do easy trades without KYC, uh, without, well, technically you're supposed to pay taxes, but I don't know how anyone would track it, and uh, not financial advice, ha. Huh. And, but usually a lot of them are based in, on Ethereum. And as you know, any, doing anything on the Ethereum blockchain is prohibitively expensive for most people. I find it extremely expensive for myself. Uh, I think you guys remember I did that video on Balancer. I just checked today and I can't, it's, it hasn't really made any money and I wouldn't even be able to get that money off without paying more in fees than I put on the, on the chain. So I, I generally avoid anything with Ethereum and I, I I'm kind of surprised other people aren't, but let's get, we'll get into that in a second. First, I want to uh, remind you, if you haven't already, to subscribe to the channel and uh, go ahead and hit that like button too. This will help you see more videos as we go through these crypto experiments and find ways to make money in crypto. So, and that's what we're doing today. We're going to go through Tiny Man. And what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to go on the site itself and I'm going to use it for the first time. So I've done some research on it. It's basically, like I said, it's basically a decentralized exchange that offers, also offers liquid, obviously the, to offer liquidity, they have to have people uh, lend liquidity to, the, to the, the system. And by doing that, you can earn money on transaction fees. What I found was uh, a post from user named Relevant, and he put it this way. He said, you can make a basic prediction as follows. And this is a prediction on how much you're going to make. So you take the 24 hour, hour volume, which is shown in the pool stats of, of the token that you're staking, I'm adding that, multiply by 0.25% your share of the pool and 365. And this will give you the predicted yearly amount of fees uh, that you'll get. Assuming, as he puts in parentheses, assuming that volume is constant, which is conservative in the case of Tiny Man. Divide your investment, the sum of the value of both sides of the pair, not only one, and that's your predicted ROI. So I think that's a pretty good explanation. As far as I know, I haven't used it. We're going to use it for the first time today. Actually, technically the second time, because I did use Tiny Man to buy um, Akita Inu. So let me share my screen and we will get into Tiny Man. Well, here we go. We're on Tiny Man. And by the way, I'm going to move this down here. I don't, well, okay. I don't care if you see my address, it doesn't matter. So as you can see, I've already logged in. Now there's, a, if obviously since I did it before, I'm gonna move this down. Since I did it before, um, my, my address and my total algo is showing here in the right-hand corner. If I, if I was coming into the first time, it would give me an option to connect my wallet. You probably, if you've been on, if you've been on different Web3 applications, you've probably seen that before. So nothing too new. And what you can see is it starts you on the swap screen. So this is where I can swap algo for other tokens. Uh, so you can either paste the, I, the ASA ID and that will bring up the token or you can just select it. And what it's gonna do, I'm gonna move down. Um, it gives me Algorand, US dollar token, and Tether right off the bat. If I go here, it's going to first show me all the tokens that I have. Now, all my yield D is staked, which is why it doesn't show me having any yield D, but I do have some Opulus. I do have some Algogens. I have some Akita Inu token from the last video I did. Uh, I have some Smile token, you, and then all the other ones. And you can see like Planet. Now, that's the one that you can get tokens for having that... Uh, having that tester in your house. Uh, I, th I thought about checking that out. Wrapped Algo, GoBTC, Freckle, and there's a whole bunch that I haven't even heard of. Freckle VIP, Realio token, uh, Tiny Chart, which has its own token headline, Re Realio, a lot of Realios. 
Asia Reserve Currency Token, Parsec, Linear's Coin. Well, they go on, right? Xfinity, I've heard of that one. So this is a really good way, if you've been wanting to buy some of these tokens that are, you know, you can't get them on Coinbase, you don't feel like paying uh, any of the Ethereum DEXs ridiculous fees, you can do it on here and pay a lot less. So just to test it out, I'm going to buy some... I'm going to buy some ELD. Let's put that there. I'm going to buy, actually, I'll buy one. I'm going to buy one algo worth of ELD. Now, I, I want to note that when I'm doing this, I have committed 600 algo to, uh, to governance. So I am not putting myself out of governance by doing this. I'm really careful. Now I could, if I accidentally hit the max button, I could really screw myself. So we don't want to do that. Well, I'm going to buy yield D because I'm going to do for the experiment. And I don't know if this is the best one to do. It probably isn't. Um, but just to, just to experiment, just to show you guys the thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to pair Algorand and yield D. So we'll see what happens. So first thing you got to do is to buy it. So I'm going to pay. So here's my slippage tolerance. Here's my swap fee. Uh, it's a little higher than a lot of other Algorand things. Right now it's uh, 0.003. And according to this, I'll have a 0.3% price impact. Anyway, I'm gonna hit swap, confirm swap. Now the my algo thing is gonna come up. I'm gonna have to confirm all the transactions. This is a good time to check just to make sure you didn't do anything wrong when I had that screen up. Because I want to make sure I, now I only committed, like I said, I only committed 600 because I knew I'd be doing stuff like this and I wanted to have some to play with. As you know, a lot of people fell out of fell out of governance this round. So I'm going to sign the transaction. Spinny, spinny, spinny. And I think that's it. Nope, still sending. There we go, swap complete. Now you can see my, my amount of algo went down, so I should have this much algo in there. All right, let's go to the pool now. So these are the popular pools. Uh, Yieldy is a popular one, so it's a pretty high volume, I think. Looks like a high volume. Uh, even the seven day or 24 hour fees. Well, let's just, let's go to that and so I'm going to go to add. I'm going to do max yieldy. Now you got to opt in because it's going to create basically a new, a new thing. So let's just do that. You know, again, this might be a really tiny amount. If you've opted in on things before, by the way, you know that this is just a thing you have to do whenever there's a new token involved. And this is creating a new token essentially. So obviously this is a teeny tiny amount that I'm putting in. I mean, that's a pretty small share of the pool, less than 0.1%. So I'm probably not going to get a whole lot of money out of this, but all right, you earn. So by adding liquidity, you'll earn 0.25% of all trades on this pair proportional to your share of the pool. Fees are added to the pool crew in real time and can be claimed by withdrawing your liquidity. So so when I did that transaction, you know, people who hold, hold these this pool that I just did, they, they got a little portion of that transaction. So that's something to keep in mind. And now I'm putting this in because I'm going to get some of this transaction too. So, all right, let's add the liquidity, confirm supply, hit continue, sign all the transactions. You need me to narrate this? Probably not. <laughs> you're, probably, you're probably mad that I didn't do the spinny, spinny, spinny. So it gives me a total of, it's going to give me a total of 9.1 yieldy algo pool tokens. Okay. And that is worth $3.46, which is kind of interesting. The amount shown reflects the final mint value, including excess amounts, which must be redeemed separately. I don't know what that means. But it's pretty interesting that, so I obviously, obviously you can see this amount went down again because I, I changed algo to yieldy and then I paired them both together. So I used more algo, but that made nine of these tokens. So, and the total value of both of those is worth more 
than what I put in, which because I put in, a, well, no, no, it's not. No, because I, I keep thinking of algo being around a dollar. I keep forgetting it went up to two and has been sitting at like a dollar eighty. So okay, that makes sense. Um, okay, so that's that's that. Now, one of the things I heard, I don't know what is analytics. Let's look at that. This gives you the algo price, total liquidity. So here's all the pools. Um, yeah, so this is this is how much. How, many, how much in fees are generated in 24 hours. So I'm getting a little tiny share of that. Uh, that was one of the criticisms I heard is that they don't show you your rewards, which I, is another problem I had with Balancer too. But this is pretty new as I understand it. So you gotta give them some time to, to add these things. Now, I personally feel like that's something they should add right away, but I'm gonna stop my share. So that's tiny man. That's how you use it. That's how you add. That's how you make a swap, and that's how you add liquidity to the pool. Um, I think it's really cool. I just uh, I love that all these things that baffled me about stuff that's based in Ethereum. That's like, oh, this sounds like a good idea. Wait, I'm paying all this money in fees. And I, I mean, I've had Compound that's been stuck on my Coinbase wallet because I can't afford to move it because I pay more to move it than it's worth. I mean, it's like. <laughs> I just don't get, I don't get why Ethereum, Ethereum if, I, as I told, and I, I, I talked, if you watched the, uh, the crypto talk I did with Crypto Nerd, I said, listen, if Ethereum was like a regular tech company, they, someone have already eaten their lunch. Like, and and it, this should be happening on crypto because there are better options than Ethereum. There, there are so many options that work better and Ethereum just does not seem to be in any hurry whatsoever to fix, what, fix what's wrong with the network. It's clearly flawed. If, if Listen, if you had, you know, if I had a company and customers had to pay more in fees to use my product than they were for the actual cost of the product, you know, you wouldn't be in business very long. <laughs> so why Ethereum continues to get away with this I think it's just first mover effect. They were the first smart contracts. So uh, that, that, I think that's that has to be what it is. I don't know what, what else it would be. Well, anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something. I definitely did. So I hope you learned with me. And we're going to keep tracking this. I might put more into this. As you know, I tend to do three-month and six-month review videos. If uh, I just did one on, on uh, Cake DeFi, so check that one out. And otherwise, uh, keep following along, subscribe to the channel, and you'll be able to see not only the start of these experiments, but all the results too. So thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next time, and we'll see you in the future.